A warning tonight as tax season gets underway across the country, the IRS is urging you to be careful if you're choosing a tax preparer. That's right. Channel 5's Anna Anguiano tells us a McAllen woman is learning that lesson the very hard way. She joins us live from the Adago County Newsroom with more. Anna. This tax fraud victim says everything about her tax preparer seemed legit. She just didn't know what was about to happen. It's a nightmare. It's literally a nightmare. This tax fraud victim will call Sally thought she was doing everything right. She had all the right documentation. Her tax preparer was a family friend. You think other people have the best intentions? It's not necessarily so. We're hiding Sally's true identity to protect her and her family. The tax preparer still has her and her children's social security numbers. She's worried the tax preparer might do more damage. Sally says the first sign something wasn't right came a month after her taxes were filed. Her more than $4,500 tax check was MIA. So I called her one night and um, she says, no, don't worry, everything will be fine. The following day, I called the IRS myself. Sally was in for a surprise and not the good kind. The first call, they said, no, you know, it does, your information doesn't match what's on file. And I thought, hmm, okay, well, I left it alone and I thought maybe I put a different banking, you know, different banking information. I went back, found my paperwork, called the second time, and it was that gentleman who said, you need to get in touch with your tax preparer because the information on file doesn't match the information you're giving me. I suggest you go down to your local IRS office. When Sally drove to the IRS office in Harlingen and retrieved her tax transcript, her heart dropped. The bank account and routing number were not on the paperwork. It was replaced with someone else's. I called the tax preparer, advised her of what I had found, and she says, don't worry, it's because the IRS... From that answer alone, Sally knew the preparer was lying. She filed a police report with McCallum PD. She also spoke with a local IRS investigator. Sally is now trying to pick up the pieces. Right now, I'm in the process of having my tax returns amended. Although the outcome of what's to come is unknown, Sally says she felt compelled to act. You know what? People need to know. To speak out in hopes that her message... I don't believe that she hasn't done this to other people. Will make others think twice about who was filing their taxes. Through Sally's own investigation, she found out that her tax return check had been direct deposited into an out-of-state bank account. From there, it was wired to a bank account in Edinburgh, that account unknown. Both of those accounts are now emptied and closed. Live in the Hidalgo County Newsroom, on Anguiano, Channel 5 News at 6. The IRS says there are ways you can protect yourself against fraudulent tax preparers. First thing to do is get references from those who have used a tax service in the past. Also, make sure your tax preparer has a prepared tax identification number. The IRS says a main red flag is if the tax preparer claims to be able to get you a bigger refund than others. You can file complaints against the tax preparers and can report them for misconduct. 